Are your classroom computers collecting dust? Does your school have a unused computer lab? Well, in today's teaching tip video, I'm gonna talk about a couple tips to get you started up and running using desktops in the classroom. And we're starting right now. Here are some things that I do to make it a lot easier. Now, I teach kindergarten and I'll be honest with you, at the beginning of the year, it's kind of a hot mess. This is the first time many of my students have even touched a computer. So, here's a quick tip. If you're dealing with primary, if you're dealing with the younger grades, go ahead and put a sticker on the left mouse. That way they know to click that mouse. Otherwise, they'll be clicking the right, they'll be right clicking all day and messing everything up. Your school has probably paid a hefty amount for licenses, some sort of research-based academic computer program. Use it. It's probably good. It probably works. If you are using computers in your classroom, for the love of God, use Google Chrome. Please. Please. Have bookmarks in Google Chrome for easy access to multiple websites instead of having students have to go out of the internet and back in and click and double click. Just make bookmarks. It makes, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Also, using Google Chrome will allow you to save passwords for those password needed websites. Even if students are just playing games on the computer during center time or recess, they're still learning those very important computer literacy skills like dragging and dropping, refreshing the page, clicking out of a pop-up, all those things that they're gonna need to know how to do because guess what? Standardized tests on the computers. The first time a kid is on a computer, is in third grade for that big important test, you're in trouble. So start them early, start them in preschool, kindergarten, get those computer literacy skills down now so you can save some frustration later. Final tip I'm gonna give you today is to designate one or two of your most computer literate students to be the computer managers. These students can help students log on, log off, and do any sort of troubleshooting that you might need, especially in the computer lab when everybody's on computers at once. If this video helped you at all, leave it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I do a teaching tip video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, have a great day, teachers, and see you next time.